Okay, getting my screen set up here. <clears throat> okay, it looks good. Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class here. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. <coughs> oh, Lolly, yes, okay, we're all right, all right, all right. That was very fast, thank you, Lolly. So that means you can see me and hear me, and that means everything is okay. So I'm happy about that. Well, hello everyone. I hope you are well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you are comfortable. I hope you are ready to practice English with me. And of course, in the chat. Yes, lots of good things happen in the chat. You will see lots of examples in the chat. So um, please, please, contribute in the chat, please um, learn from the chat, please um, enjoy the chat. <laughs> okay, well, um, we're going to be here for two hours, so I hope you're comfortable and all of that stuff which I just said, okay? What we always do before we start, we have a toast for good luck, so let's go ahead and do that. So whatever you're drinking, pick it up for our toast, yes. And I have hot coffee, yes I do. I always have hot coffee. So um, we'll have two toasts, yes we will. Our first toast will be to the green team, yes, the members. They support me, they support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team, you see them, their names are in green. Let's give them a big thank you. Thank you, green team. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump, cheers, bump, cheers. Yes. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Ah. Okay, now our second toast. It's for you. Yes, you are here. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. That's right. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, productive, and informative lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Okay, good, good, good. Now, oh, I see the green team. Yes, there's Miley. Hello, Miley. <clears throat> There is Lolly. Hello, Lolly. There is Marion. Hello, Marion. There is Ava. Hello, Ava. There is Sleepwalker. Hello, Sleepwalker. There is who else? Who else? I saw. I saw someone else. Jocko, right? I saw Jocko, didn't I? So I'm pretty sure I'm going to go back. Oh, there's Candy. Hello, Candy. I'm pretty sure I saw Jocko, so I'm going back in the chat. Is it my imagination? Did I imagine? No, there's Jocko. Hello, Jocko. How are you doing? Great, great, great. Oh, I also see Samuel. Hello, Samuel. Ella. Hello, Ella. Hello, Helga. Hello, Saima. All right. Hello, Ali. Great, great, great. Let's see. Hello, Sammy, Sammy. Okay, good. Hello, Mano May. Hello. Okay, great. I'm very happy to see everyone. Hello, Irene. Okay, fantastic. There's Alice. Hello, Alice. There's Rocky. Hello, Rocky. There's Anna. Hello, Anna. There is Jamic. Hello, Jamic. Okay, good. There is Estrella, hello Estrella. Okay, yay. Thank you, and Marion, hello Marion. All right, thank you. Every oh, Jama, okay, Jama, that's easier for me to say. Hello, Jama, how you doing? All right, man is here. Okay, we have a great group today, right off from the bat, so that makes me very, very happy. Yes, it does. Thank you, everyone, for being here and spending your time with me. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, well, let's talk about today's lesson plan. Yes, let's do that. 
Okay, here is the lesson plan on my clipboard. This is a clipboard because it's a board with a clip. <laughs> so it's called a clipboard. A board with a clip is a clipboard. Okay, so we're going to do form a sentence. I'm going to give you four cards and you're going to make a sentence. Which and what cards? Answer the question cards, dictation cards, and Lolly's Revenge. That is one, two, three, four, five activities. Okay, we are going to be very busy today. We're going to be here for two hours. So um, buckle in, buckle in. Yeah, like if you're driving a car, we say buckle in because um, we're going. <laughs> we're taking off. So let's do our first activity, form a sentence. Let's do that. So I'm going to write one because this is our first activity and I want to keep things in order, all right? So one is form a sentence which means make a sentence. That means make a sentence. Form a sentence, and we have four cards, so I need four places for the cards. Here's one place, here's two places, three places, and four places. We have four places for four cards. Four places for four cards, and to keep the cards on the board, I need four magnets because there are four cards. So right here, I'm grabbing four magnets. And right here, I have just grabbed four magnets. And so I'm gonna put one here. I'm gonna put another one here, and another one there, and another one there. Okay, so we have four places for four cards. Yes, we do. Now, here we go. <clears throat> so here are the four cards. So each card, there's a picture that will give you a hint of what the pattern. So we're making a pattern and I'm gonna give you some pictures and you're gonna tell me what the pictures mean. What does, what does the picture represent, okay? Here we go, card number one. Hey Ava, Ava's here. Mwah. Good to see Ava, hello Ava. Okay, here we go. What is, okay. What, what's happening here? Oh, Umesh is in the house. Hey, Umesh. Good to see Umesh. Okay. Oh, Helga. Yes. You see my thumb? It's up. My thumb is up, right? Because that means that is good. That is good. Fonda, Fonda how are you doing, Fonda? Yeah, they're sh well, they're like bumping fists. They're not uh, sleepwalkers, they're not shaking hands. They're bumping fists, right? So, so like, bam, right? So like, um, so, so I guess because of like, you know, the COVID-19, people don't want to shake hands because maybe, you know, it's a little um, contagious, you know, a little dirty. So, so people are bumping, you know, they're going, how you doing, right? Instead of shaking, how are you today? They're, they're bumping fists, right? So, like what, what I do, right? So when we, when, we, um, when we give our toast, right? Cheers, and if you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump, yeah? So that's what they're doing. They're bumping fists. And so meat, yeah, meat. So our first word in our pattern is meat. Okay, so I'm gonna write meat. And put a plus because now we're going to have our second part of our pattern. And what does this represent? You've seen this before. I've used this card before. Yeah, fist bump. That's right, Sleepwalker. Is Maya here? Hey, Maya. Okay, the green team is strong today. Good to see the green team in the house, for sure. Okay, subject, y yes, that that works, but I'm looking for another word. Hey, Mitra, you got it. Yeah, Sleepwalker. Alice, good. Yep, yep, yep. 
Dua, good. Shams, how you doing, Shams? One, well, yeah, so Rocky, yes, pointing, right? So the finger is pointing. But the finger is pointing like me, right? Like meet me, meet me, meet me. So our second part of our pattern is me. Okay, meet me, meet me. All right, so here we go, card number three. Card number three, here we go. Me, meet me. Okay, and our card number three, what does this represent? What does this represent? Fabrizio's here too. Good, Fabrizio. Hello. Okay, the green team is very strong today. I'm really, really happy to see that. Yeah, Elena. Good, Sleepwalker. Okay, Ava, it's email. We use that in an email address. That's right. But we say at. So this is actually like at mark. All right, so this is an at mark. So it, you know, it's the name, so name of the, the address, at, and then the, the, um, what's the, like the company that, that holds your, um, information. So, yeah, at, so meet me at, meet me at, okay, so we have, Meet me at, and then we have one more card for our pattern. So let's look at our, our fourth card. Here we go. And what is this picture represent? What does this represent? We, we've done this. We've used the same card before. I've used this. Yeah, Helga. Okay, yep, yep, that works. Yeah, Sleepwalker, we could say location. Yes, Lolly, we can say place. Yeah, okay, good, everyone. Yep, so that means the same, that's the same meaning, location, place, that, that's the same thing. Okay, so that's right, so let's say place, or location's fine, but let's do place. Okay. So I think we're ready for a sentence. Meet me at, and then a place, okay? Or location. Meet me at place or location, okay? So I want, I want to see your sentence now. Now it's time to, to make the sentence. Okay, here we go. Sleepwalker, meet me at the store. Okay, that's good. Ava, meet me at the bus station. Yeah, very good. Yeah, um, yeah, good. Helga, meet me at the park. Very good. Sleepwalker, meet me at the park. Umesh, yes. Okay, good. Ah, Dua, meet me at my house. Very good. Jaco, meet me at karaoke. Oh, <laughs> or... Uh, karaoke, yeah? I'm not very good at karaoke. I'm a terrible singer. Fabricio, meet me at the corner. Very good, Fabricio. Man says, meet me at the cinema. Very good. Rocky, meet me at the garden. Manome, meet me at the restaurant. Okay, Saima, meet me at the library. Very good. Miley, meet me at the church. Okay, Elena, meet me at the museum. Great sentence, everyone. Okay, this is not a problem. Marion, Marion, meet me at the flower shop. Meet me at the cinema. Meet me at school, says Candy. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Okay, meet me at school. Let's use that one. Yeah, so meet me at school. Or a place I like to meet at, 
I like to meet at a coffee shop. So meet me at, how about Starbucks? I like Starbucks. So meet me at Starbucks. Meet me at Starbucks. Okay, good, good. Meet me at the airport, says Ella. Fabricio says, meet me at the train station. Umesh, meet me at high school. Okay. Uh, Sleepwalker, meet me at the bowling. We say um, bowling hall or bowling, yeah, or bowling lanes. Meet me at the bowling lanes. Meet me at the bowling hall. So, Sleepwalker, we wouldn't, don't end it with just only bowling, right? Meet me at the bowling. So, you need to um, either say at the bowling lanes or at the bowling hall. Lolly, meet me at the bar. Meet me at the pub. Yeah, I like that place. Meet me at the bar. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Meet me at the bar for a beer. That's even better. I like it. Meet me at the bar for a beer. Mm, sounds delicious. Sounds refreshing. <laughs> okay. Meet me at night, says Ava. Okay, yeah. When do you want to meet? Let's meet at night. Okay, good. Good, Ava. Let's see. Candy says, meet me at the library. Candy, the library. Um, yeah, we, we usually don't say meet me at library. It'd be meet me at, because most cities have just one library, you know, one big main library. So everybody knows and it's kind of unique. So we put the, so meet me at the library. Marion says, meet me at the table tennis club. All right. Rocky says, meet me at the shopping mall. Sleepwalker says, meet me at the bowling hall. Very good. That's it. Good sleep. Nice, nice. Diana says, meet me at the pharmacy. Lean says, meet me at the building. Okay, what building? So, Lean, give us some more information. So, meet me at the uh, Sony building or meet me at the at the Google building, right? So let's give a little more information, a little more detail. Okay, Edana, meet me at the seaside, okay. Or actually we say like the beach, meet me at the beach, or seaside, it, it, it's not really a, a place. The seaside, it's kind of, you know, it, it's like the coast, or you know, next to the sea, right? So let's give, let's be a little more detail. We can say, meet me um, at the pier, or meet me in the harbor, meet me at the beach. We usually don't say, meet me at the seaside. Okay, Sleepwalker, meet me at the ice skating park. Actually, we say ice skating rink. So it's kind of, circular, right? And so we say rink. Okay, Sleepwalker, meet me at the ice skating rink. R-I-N-K. Umesh, meet me at the hotel. No, no, that, who is that? Who said hotel? Umesh, meet me at the hotel. Marion, meet me at the bookcase. Okay, Ava, meet me at the end of the street. Okay, Ava, meet me at the end of the street. Okay, Ava, one more time. Please fix your sentence. Meet me at the end of the street. Very good. Fabricio, meet me at the top of the mountain. I will wait for you. Hey, Fabricio, why do you think you will be first? Maybe I'll be waiting for you. Maybe I'll go faster, Fabricio. <laughs> hey, give the old guy some respect. Fabricio. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You are, I'm sure you are faster than I am. <laughs> oh, hey, Mariano. Good to see Mariano. 
Uh, meet me at the fast food joint for a burger and soda. Mmm, sounds good. Sounds good. Sleepwalker, meet me at the new restaurant. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, nice, nice. Candy says, meet me at the library. Very good, Candy. Okay. Let's see, Umesh, meet me at the amusement park. Jocko, meet me at the um, Haneda Park. That is in Tokyo, Haneda Park. Woo. Okay, nice. Okay, good, good job, everyone. <laughs> okay, so let's meet me at Disneyland. Sounds good, Candy. Meet, meet me at Disneyland. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Corey, how are you doing, Corey? Mwah, good to see Corey. Okay, good job, everyone. Not a problem. Let's go to our second activity. Activity number two, shall we? Okay, let's go to activity number two. And that is which and what. Okay, so we have, we have some which cards and some what cards. So right here, I guess looks like what will be first, okay? So here we go, what? And let me write this on the board, what? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put a place for the card. Let me get a magnet. And actually we got a witch too, so I grabbed two magnets, one, two, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Tomas is here. Hey, Tomas, how you doing? Oh, my last computer is working. It has, oh, my last computer wasn't working. It had some problems, so wasn't working. Okay, I'm happy you're here today, Tomas. Okay, here we go. What? Please tell me your answer. This is a question, right? So I want your answer. Here we go. What's the difference between a drone and a balloon? Now, actually, I should say hot air balloon. So it's a hot air balloon. So one more time. What's the difference between a drone and a hot air balloon? What's the difference between a drone and a hot air balloon. What's the difference between a drone and a hot air balloon? What's the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference between a drone and a hot air balloon. Ha ha ha! Helga says, a drone doesn't have hot air inside. <laughs> Very good, Ava. Hot air balloon can carry some people. Good. Lolly says, hot air balloon doesn't need batteries. Very good, everyone. Yeah. Um, sleepwalker, a a balloon is better because people can sit in the basket. Do a, a drone can take photos, but hot air balloon can't. Tomas says, the drone works with electricity and a balloon works with hot air. Yeah. Let's look at the card. What's the difference between a drone and a balloon. So this is actually a hot air balloon. I put balloon because of space. So um, yeah, so this is actually a hot air balloon. Okay, Miley says, a drone is driven from the ground. A hot air balloon has the driver inside. Yes, so Miley says, so the drone is driven from the ground. So there's someone on the ground controlling the drone, whereas the hot air balloon, the pilot, I think they're called pilots, they are inside the um, 
well, they're in the basket, right? So they're not, they're not inside the balloon, but they are like inside the basket under the balloon. Okay, here we go one more time. What's the difference between a drone and a balloon? Good. Okay, Fabrizio says a drone is a modern device. Yes, hot air balloons have been around for a long, long time. But drones are a new, they're new, right? They're, they are, um, I don't know how long they have been around, but they're, maybe militaries had drones for a long time, but for commercial use, Anyone, you can go to a, um, you can buy one on, online. It's easy. They're probably not that expensive. I don't know. I do not have a drone. I do not know. Okay, Manome says, there is a camera in a drone, but a, hair, but a hot air balloon doesn't. Okay, Elena, a drone is a funny modern a uh, contraption and a hot air balloon is much older. Very good. Jaco, a hot air balloon has a variety of colors. Very good. Yeah, so, so that's one thing. If you see hot air balloons um, floating in the air, they're very colorful and they're, it's very beautiful to see them fly by. So um, that is very good observation. That's a great point, Jaco. Fabricio says a hot air balloon exists, has existed since 1740. Wow. So Fabricio, a hot air balloon, hot air balloons, right? So we want to use the plural form. Hot air balloons have existed since 1740. Hot air balloons have existed since 1740. Sleep park. Hot air balloons can fly long distances. Very good. Ava, a drone you can control from the ground. Yes. Marion, the hot air balloon has no engine. Very good. You guys are very clever. Nice, nice. See how many answers we're getting? That's what I say about the chat. You can look at all these answers in the chat. Fantastic. Mwah. Very good, everybody. Okay, nicely done. Maya says a drone is operated, but a balloon goes with the wind. See, you guys, geez, geez, oh, geez, Louise. Many, many answers. I am blown away, like the balloon. I am blown away from your answers. <laughs> Miley says under the hot air balloon, inside the basket. Yeah. Okay. Mariano says hot air Balloons can transport people. Very good. Maybe in the future, drones will be transporting people too. But right now, they are not. Jose, how are you doing? Jose from Dallas, Texas. Good to see you. Good to have you in the chat, Jose. Okay, hot air balloon is good for romantic events and drones are for um, spying. <laughs> That's right. So that would, hot air, I've never been in one, but I can imagine it would be very romantic. A lot, in California, I'm from California, I'm from Los Angeles, California, and there are hot air balloons in the wine country. So like up north, like north of San Francisco, there, there's lots of um, grape, or we could say wineries, where they grow grapes for wine. And so it, it's, it's a large area where they grow grapes for wine, and we call those wineries. And there are hot balloon um, tours up there. And so I can imagine, you know, going up in a hot air balloon with fine wine, cheeses, fruit, and with your, with your girl or with your man, and very, very romantic. I can see that. I've never experienced it, but I can imagine. <laughs> okay. Oh, Sham says, drones fly by the driver, but balloon fly with, um, yeah. So Shams, so Shams, 
So a drone is controlled by someone on the ground and a hot air balloon travels with the wind. Yeah, so the hot air balloon travels with the wind. So they, they, they take off one place and then they land in another place. So um, you, you can't really, you can't go back with a balloon. You just go one way and you can land. You, you can't really control it. There's no power. They just float with the wind. Okay, okay. Here we go. Fabrizio fixed his sentence. Hot air balloons have existed since 1740. Here we go. One more time, Fabrizio. Hot air balloons, because we want to use plural. Hot air balloons have, balloons have existed since 1740. Hot air balloons have existed since 1740. Fabricio says, drones have propellers. It's almost a mini helicopter, yes. Umash, hot, hot air balloon, gas, yeah, so in a hot air balloon, the gas needs to be controlled. Yes, good Umash, so in hot air balloons, uh, the gas needs to be controlled. Yeah, so the more gas, the higher you go. The less gas, the lower you go. Okay, here we go, Fabricio. Hot air balloons have existed since 1740. Perfect, perfect. Ava, a hot air balloon is more dangerous for people than a drone. There, how many, okay, can, I don't, I can't count, but how many answers are there in the chat? There, there must be. So the question, what's the difference between a drone and a balloon? Right, and I bet there's probably 50 answers in the chat. I bet there are 50. <laughs> I, could, I can't imagine there could be 50, I don't know, how many? What, what do you think? So, can someone count? <laughs> can you count how many answers? Um, how, but you guys are very, very clever. Jeez, very, very clever and um, very, you, that's brilliant. You guys are brilliant. Fantastic. <laughs> Maya says, there is a drone on Mars, which the spaceship, um, provi uh, per, per, oh God, per serve, why can't I say that? Um, I know the word. Um, perseverance, gosh. Okay, <laughs> the spaceship, Perseverance is the first drone on Mars. Wow, so we even have drones on Mars. Incredible. Okay, another a drone is small, but a hot air balloon is big. How many, how many answers are there? Perseverance, perseverance. <laughs> we must persevere, persevere. Mm. That's right, Umesh. A hot air balloon has a burner, yeah, and then you see the fire go up. Okay, good job, everyone. Now, let's do what? No, we did what? Which, which, which? Let's do which. Here we go. Which. Okay, here we go. Which. And the question is, Sleepwalker, you can hold a drone in your hand. There's another answer. There's so many, you guys, I bet there's 50 answers in the chat. I bet there are 50 because I've read a lot of answers. Yeah, that's true, Helga. Helga says they use drones in, in wars, yeah. Yeah, that's no good. Wars are no good. Okay, here we go. Here's our which question. Which is better, day or night? Which is better, day or night? Talking about war, there's war planes flying above me. 
Now, also, how about, here's an answer. I have an answer. Drones are noisy. Hot air balloons are quiet, <laughs> right? Drones are noisy. Eh. Hot air balloons are quiet. Okay. Which is better, day or night? Lolly says, day is better for Halloween. Hello, Aram. Helga, day is better because there is much sunlight. Do I? Let's see. Okay, Saima, why night? So I want to know your reason why. Okay, no problem, Ar Aram. We're going to be here for a long time. We're going to be here for another hour and a half, okay? So we still have another um, 90 minutes, so... So no problem. Sleepwalker says, uh, day is better because it is natural for people to be active during the day. Yes, Sleepwalker, I think so too. Ava, yeah, for sure. You can, fall, you can fall out of a hot air balloon. Yeah, Ava, that would be scary. Miley, uh, the day is better. Um, in the sunlight, everything is wonderful. Lolly says, night is better for watching TV. I agree with that for sure. Ah, Elena says, hard choice. They are both gorgeous. Okay, Luciana, um, the day is better. Why is that, Luciana? Why? Why is day better? So that's what, that's why I want you to give me your opinion. I want you to um, give me your answer, your thoughts in English. So that's, that's what we're doing. That's where you are practicing your English. Fabricio, if you are a good sleeper, night is better. Okay. Tomas says, day is better than night because we can see everything easily. Lolly says, night is better for a beer. Because you can go to bed after drinking. I agree. <clears throat> Alice, day is better because I can go to the bank for... I can go to the bank to do everything. Julia, day is better because it lasts longer and you can do more useful things. Ha <laughs> ha, I knew you were going to... I knew this was going to come up. I knew this. Fabrizio did it. If you are a sleepwalker, so I knew we have sleepwalker. She's part of our green team. And I knew someone was going to say this. Okay, Fabrice says, um, if you are a sleepwalker, um, so day is better because he uh, walks and sleep at the same time. Which is better, day or night? <clears throat> Sleepwalker, day is better because we can see the sun and enjoy. Ava, the day is better for work. I think so too. Lolly, the um, day is better because I love the sun. Mariano, both, since the day would not exist without the night and vice versa. Yes, we need both for sure. That's right, we need both. Plants need darkness to grow, right? So if you have a garden, you need the night because that's when plants grow. They grow at night. Plants need the night. And, and actually they say, we need the night too, right? So um, if you go, let's say you go out to the countryside. There's, you know, you don't go, not in the city, but you go out in the countryside and where it's super dark. You can see the stars, right? So in the city, it's difficult to see the stars, right? Because there's always lights on. There's buildings and street lights and cars and things like that. So at night, it, it's in the city, it's hard to see the stars. But if you go to the countryside where you know, you can see the stars and it, 
it's darker in the countryside, right? And it's healthier for you. That's what I heard. Where um, you, your body, you have a better sleep when it's um, pitch black, pitch black, no light at all. That way, your body needs that downtime. It needs your body needs the um, the I don't know the darkness for growing. I guess I don't know. You need to like shut down your body and your body shuts down easier where there's less light. I'm not sure all the science behind that, but I it makes sense to me. It 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 makes sense to me. Marion says the day is better because I can socialize. Very good, very good. Uh, Sham says day's better because everything find oh because everything it is Work and everything is lovely in the sun. Yeah. Lolly says, day is better because I like sunbathing. Yeah, so so actually, we want both, right? So during the day, we want to sunbathe. We want to bathe in the sun. We want the sunshine. And then at night, we want the darkness, the pitch black. So if you can do that, if you can get the sun during the day and then pitch black at night, you're going to be very healthy, I think. Fabrizio, the day is better because you don't need a flashlight to see around. Okay, good, good, good. Lolly says, day is better because I like going to the beach. Nice. Tomas says, I drive a bus in the city. It's better in the night because there's less traffic. Yes, that I, I know that experience, Tomas. Yeah, so... When there's less cars, there's no cars around, it's easier to drive for sure. Okay. Uh, Morpheus takes you to the land of dreams during the night. Morpheus. I don't know who Morpheus is, Sleepwalker. Is that Greek mythology, Morpheus? Is that the Greeks? Okay, good, everybody. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, Luciana says the night is better because I can read. Okay, so Luciana likes reading at night. All right, good, good. Well, I do things better during the day for me, actually. And actually, I do better in the morning. So I'm more of a morning person. And um, so, for example, I like to read the newspaper in the morning. I like to have breakfast in the morning. I like to go for a walk in the morning. I like to um, pick my raspberries in the morning. So actually, <clears throat> my favorite part of the day is the morning. I like the morning time. Okay, Candy said it's better at night because we can find shooting stars. Yes, we can. Okay, yeah, okay, Greek mythology. Thank you so much, Sleepwalker. Morpheus. And, and we know Lolly's a night owl. We know that for sure. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Miley says, Morpheus has abandoned my home. I spend sleepless nights. Okay, that, that's fun. So Morpheus takes us so we can um, have a good night's sleep. Fabrizio says, Morpheus is a dream god in Greek mythology. Okay, good, good. There's so many... Um, Greek gods, right? There's a Greek god for everything. So I didn't know about Morpheus. I know um, Mars is the Greek god for, for fire. Oh gosh, it's been so long, so long. Okay, let's go to the next. Let's go to number three. Okay, number three, answer the question, please. Answer the question. Answer the question. <clears throat> okay, good, good, good. Y 
Yeah, Helga, Mars is the Latin god. I thought, I thought Mars was a Greek god. Uh, I, I, know, I know about um, Hercules. <laughs> I know Cleopatra, no, Cleopatra is Roman. The Greeks, um, Socrates, I know Socrates. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right, here we go. Uh, I, need, I need to review my Greek mythology. I need to review that. It's been a long time since I've read about Greek mythology. It's interesting. I, I always enjoyed it when I was in school. I liked learning about Greek mythology. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Number three. <clears throat> Answer the question. And the question is, what does your smartwatch do? What does your smartwatch do? Zeus, yes, I know Zeus. Mars, that's right. Mars is the god of war. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> so I just need someone to remind me. I just need a reminder. That's right. Atlantis is the god of water or the undersea god. There are many, many, many gods, Greek mythology. Yeah, that's a good idea, Sleepwalker. Wow, Maya. Everyone read Maya's, um, what Maya said. So Maya said, I happened to be not far away from the North Pole in summer long ago. There was a there was a polar there was a polar day when the sun does not go over the horizon at all. 24 hours a day with the sun. That was a great. That was great. I enjoyed it. Yeah. So way up north in the at the, the pole. The sun never goes over the horizon. So, and then, and then in the winter, the, the sun never comes up, right? Okay, here we go. Answer the question. What does your smartwatch do? What does your smartwatch do? Oh, no. Lolly says, my smartwatch doesn't work anymore. Oh, no. Okay, let's think. Okay, let's, let's, okay. Wrong question. <laughs> what does a smartwatch do? Not your smartwatch. I don't have any watch. I don't have any watch. I don't have a dumb watch or a smartwatch. I have no watch. <clears throat> but, okay, the question is, what does a smartwatch do? I changed the question. <laughs> I just changed the question. The new question is, what does a smartwatch do white knights interesting okay so what does a smartwatch do so we change the question here ah okay man oh mate we're not saying we're not using your anymore we're not doing that we're saying we are saying what does a smartwatch do what does a smartwatch do? Ah, oh, it talks the time. It says the time. <clears throat> That's better, Lolly. It says the time. It actually says the time. You can hear the time. What does <coughs> what does a smartwatch do? Okay, we're not saying. We're not saying yours. We're just saying ah, uh, everybody. Okay, what does ah, uh, what does a uh, smartwatch do? <clears throat> what does a uh, smartwatch do? Okay, it says the time. Yes, Lolly. Sleep pocket. It measures 
pulse. Yeah, so if you're wearing a smartwatch, it will um, measure your pulse. It will count your pulse. Manome says, uh, a smartwatch can count our blood pressure. Miley says, I don't know. I'm not smart enough to know. <clears throat> Tomas says, um, it shows the time and blood pressure and much more. Fabrizio says, it monitors the heartbeat. What I love about, okay, Ali has a smartwatch. Here we go. What, what I love about my smartwatch, it shows, it shows to me motivation words on my face watch. Ah, okay, I guess you can study vocabulary. You can do like word of the day. That's very interesting. I guess you could probably program anything you want, right? You can, um, if you want to study vocabulary, it sounds like you can, um, the, the, the words you want to study will show up on your, your watch. That's, that's a nice tool. Julia says, a smartwatch receives messages, reminds important events. Yes. Helga says, it can receive calls. Very interesting. Okay, Sleepwalker, um, it can tell you how fast you are jogging. It can tell you how fast you are jogging. It can tell you how fast you are jogging. Danielle says, we can use a smartwatch to do exercises. Ali, it measures blood oxygen. White, the, the, is that the white blood cells? The, is that the, the oxygen? Is it the white blood cells that carry oxygen in your blood? I think it might be the white blood cells carry oxygen. It might be the red. It's either red or white. <laughs> Fabrizio, um, it steals my attention all the time. Elena, it receives messages, I suppose. So Elena doesn't know, but she can imagine, right? She, she assumes that it can receive messages like your, like your smartphone, yeah? Yeah, there you go, Sleepwalker. It can tell how fast you are jogging. Very good. Yeah, good, Tomas. It is able to measure our activity. Very good, Tomas, yeah. Okay, let's do one more, shall we? Let me get a magnet. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, here's our second answer the question. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay, see, I'm wrong, of course. I am wrong, of course. Red cells carry oxygen. Okay, I knew it. Of course, I should just do the opposite, right? Just do the opposite. If I think, hmm, I think white blood cells carry oxygen. Go the opposite. Then you oh, it must be red blood cells. Then you're correct. So just do the opposite of me, and you will be correct. <laughs> Okay, here we go. This, oh, it counts your steps. Good, Fabricio. Um, yeah, Jocko, a smartwatch is wearable, is, is a wearable computer. Good. A smartwatch is a wearable computer. Yeah, good. Helga, um, if, I, if I get a smartwatch, I'll have Samsung. Okay, good. All right, here's number two. Why do you have a camcorder? This is another maybe. Okay, how about, okay, let's change the, the question. Why do you have a, not why do you have a camcorder? Um, how about, um, okay, if you have one, all right, if you have a camcorder, why do you have one? If you don't, why would you want a camcorder? Okay, if you don't have one, why would someone want a camcorder? Why would someone want a camcorder? Why, why would someone want a camcorder? Why would someone want a camcorder? If you have one, if you have a camcorder, why do you have one? 
If you don't, why would someone want one? Why would someone want one? <clears throat> okay. If you have a camcorder, why do you have one? <clears throat> if you don't have a camcorder, why would someone want one? Okay, Sleepwalker, it can capture good moments. Yeah, very good, Sleepwalker. I like that answer. Ali says, um, I can make short movies. Good, 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 good. Tomas, I think no need for a camcorder because I have a smartphone can, a, okay, good. So a, a smartphone can make videos, good. Helga, um, I'd like to save some pleasant views, nice animals, good moments. Tilla, hello Tilla. Tilla, why do you have a camcorder or why would someone want a camcorder? Why would someone want a camcorder? Miley, if I had a camcorder, it would record my travels. Very good, Miley. So do you see everyone? Miley says, if I had one, right? So she doesn't have one, but she's using the, um, she, she's, um, she's, using, um, what's, the, what's the word? Um, I'm losing the word. Um, probable, right? And so, well, not probable. Um, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting the word. Um, so, so, if she had one, so that is subjunctive. No, um, that is, come on, someone help me. So, so you don't have it, but if you did, so that is um, not inferring. You are, it's a possibility, I get. I'm not sure. I'm, I can't, ah, I, I'm, I can't think of the word. Okay, Fabrizio says, I would like to have a camcorder to put in the museum. Because nowadays, all smartphones have a camera. Yeah, so these are going out the window. They are disappearing. Conditional. Okay. Yes, conditional. <laughs> Thank you, Miley. So, conditional. So, um, so, like, you don't have it, but if you did, this is what you would do. So, so. Miley says, if I had a camcorder, I would do this, right? If I had a million dollars, I would travel around the world, right? If I had a camcorder, I would record my um, children playing in the park, for example. But now, I guess we all do. Actually, we all do have a camcorder these days, right? We have our um, smartphones, and so those record videos. So. Yeah, so these, these aren't really, people don't use these anymore. Except they're maybe better quality, right? So the quality could be better. But actually now, the new smartphones, the, the, like the new Apple phones, I guess you could make a movie, right? They're, they're really good these days. So we don't even need camcorder. So sayonara. So bye-bye camcorder. <laughs> Let's just get rid of We don't need them. They're useless. Geez, they're useless. No camcorders. Let's, we don't need them. It's a waste of money. <laughs> they're, a, <clears throat> they're a waste of money. Don't buy a camcorder. Just use your, your phone. That's right. So this is old technology. This is old technology that is not useful anymore. It is not useful any longer because Smartphones are getting so much better. That's right, Marion. A camp 
My camcorder has become a museum piece. That's right. So boop, let's get rid of the camcorders. No more camcorders. Yeah, so Jaco says, um, I make the birth and growth of children with the... Yeah, I recorded. Okay, Jaco. I recorded the birth and growth of my children with a camcorder. Yeah, that was like before smartphones got good, right? So, Jaco, I recorded, I recorded the birth and growth of my children with a camcorder. Okay, good, good. All right, let's, let's change the topic. It's 6 o'clock. I see the time. So, let's do our dictation cards, shall we? Okay, let's do our dictation cards. <clears throat> and... Here we go. We have, yeah, Samuel, that, yeah, so um, Samuel says, because a camcorder is a professional device for filming, but actually, I think, you know, we're t professionals use, um, like, video cameras, right? Camcorder is, like, for consumers, right? So camcorders are made for consumers that means anybody and they're not too expensive where if you're a professional uh, photographer or a filmmaker you're going to use a video camera you're going to use a video camera and those are expensive and there of course uh, the quality is much better than your phone so actually your smartphone and camcorder kind of the same thing so they've smartphones now have a camcorder so um, yeah so cam I'm not camera recorder so they're like I think camcorder means camera and recorder right and that's what your your phone is a camera and a recorder okay dictation cards here we go we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight cards. And our topic today is half. Half. So let's let's put this on the board. So number four. And it half. And so that means um, two equal parts. Okay, so half means two equal parts and dictation cards, right? So we're going to do four steps. We're going to do dictation. We're going to do shadowing. We're going to do, you're going to do it on your own, on your own. And we're going to do a quiz. Okay, so those are the four, four steps. Dictation, shadowing, on your own, and quiz. And our topic is half, which means two equal parts. Two equal parts. Two equal parts. Pencil and paper. Thank you, Lolly. So you need a pencil and you need paper to write down the sentences, right? I'm going to read the sentence. You're not going to see the picture. You're not going to see the sentence. You're going to listen and write. Listen and write. Okay, here we go, everyone. Let's count down, shall we? Yeah, let's count down. Fabricio says, let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Miley's a comedian. Do we only write half sentences? Only four? No. <laughs> Miley, you are a comedian. Yes, you are. Okay, very clever. She's very clever. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Card number one. The recipe calls for, 
a pound and a half of butter. The recipe calls for a pound and a half of butter. The recipe calls for a pound and a half of butter butter. Card number two. Card number two. Half of me would like to give it all up and travel. Half of me would like to give it all up and travel. Half of me would like to give it all up and travel. Card number three. Half a dozen eggs, please. Half a dozen eggs, please. Half a dozen eggs, please. Number four. My brother is half as tall as me. My brother is half as tall as me. My brother is half as tall as me. Number five. What's half of... What's half of 96? What's half of 96? What's half of 96? Okay, number six. Roughly half of the class are boys. Roughly half of the class are boys. Mary Poppins, long time no see. Fabio. Roughly half of the class are boys. Okay, number seven. Cut the apple in half. Cut the apple in half. Cut the apple in half. Oh no. 
Mary, take care. Mwah. Take care of yourself. Oh, sorry, the mic. I scratch right here. It's, okay. Sorry, sorry about the mic. Okay, last card, number eight. We only need half an avocado. We only need half an avocado. Yeah, Mary, good to see you. Mwah. Okay, number three. Or no, 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 third time, third time. We only need half an avocado. Okay, that was dictation. Let's check it off. Okay, now it's time to shadow. Yeah, speaking, speaking time. So this is speaking practice, not writing practice, speaking practice. Okay, so I want you guys to say these sentences with me at the same time. You're going to listen and speak at the same time. Input, output, input, output. Okay? Here we go. Shadowing time. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. The recipe calls for a pound and a half of butter. The recipe calls for a pound and a half of butter. The recipe calls for a pound and a half of butter. The recipe calls for a pound and a half of butter. Okay. Number two. Half of me would like to give it all up and travel. Half of me would like to give it all up and travel. Half of me would like to give it all up and travel. Half of me would like to give it all up and travel. Okay. Card three. Half a dozen eggs, please. Half a dozen eggs, please. Half a dozen eggs, please. Please. Half a dozen eggs, please. Okay, number four. My brother is half as tall as me. 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 Okay, number five. What's half of 96? What's half of 96? What's half of 96? What's half of 96? Okay. <clears throat> Number six, roughly half of the class are boys. 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 Okay, number seven, cut the apple in half, cut the apple in half, cut the apple in half. Cut the apple in half. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. Number eight. We only need half an avocado. 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 Okay, good, good, good. Shadow, we did it. You did it. You did it. Okay, let's check it off. It's done. Now, on your own. So now we will <clears throat> do these to get, well, we're going to take turns, right? So dictation and shadowing, we did at the same time, right? But now we're going to take turns. So I will say the sentence, you say the sentence, okay? We will uh, switch. We will switch, okay? When I say it, we're going to see the sentence. When it's your turn, I'm going to cover the sentence. So you have to say the sentence by just looking at the picture. So it's challenging, right? You have to remember what I said. Don't say it. And then when it's your turn, look at the picture. The picture represents the sentence, right? So by looking at the picture, you should remember the sentence. Well, do your best, right? That's the idea. So look at the picture. So like, like that's how real life is, right? So you, you go somewhere and your eyes, you see the situation and then you use English um, according to the situation, right? So by seeing the picture, that's going to um, represent real life, right? So you go to the supermarket, you're looking for, you know, you're in the supermarket, you see everything. And then based on being in the supermarket, you need to say something, right? Or that's the purpose, right? You're looking for something or um, you're talking. And so you see the pictures, you see the images, you, you, you look around and you can see everything and then you speak based on what you see, right? <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. All right. The recipe calls for a pound and a half of butter. Now it's your turn, go. Yeah, Sleep Parker. Associative memory, good. You associate the picture and then use your memory. The recipe calls for a pound and a half of butter. The recipe calls for a pound and a half of butter. It's a big challenge. Some of these are our long sentences, so for sure it's a big challenge. But that's how we get better, right, Ava? We, we, we challenge and we get better each time, right? Half of me would like to give it all up and travel. Half of me would like to give it all up and travel. Half of me would like to give it all up and travel. Now see, Ava, you always say, oh, it's a big, big challenge. But you're getting better, Ava. You're improving. I, I, I see it. It's, it works, Ava. It's working for you, right? You're getting better and better. And because you come every week and you take the challenge, right? You don't run away from the challenge, Eva. You accept the challenge. You take the challenge. And by doing that, by accepting the challenge, by taking the challenge, you are improving, right? Half a dozen eggs, please. Half a dozen eggs, please. Half a dozen eggs, please. My brother is half as tall as me. You're welcome, Ava. Yes, Sleepwalker. 
muscle memory, muscle memory. Like, like you know, if you want to build your, your, your muscles, you use weights, and automatically, right, your, your muscles get bigger, and same with memory, right? So by just using, you know, using your memory, practicing, it, it's going to get better. My brother is half as tall as me. My brother is half as tall as me. What's half of 96? What's half of 96? What's half of 96? Roughly half of the class are boys. Roughly half of the class are boys. Roughly half of the class are boys. Cut the apple in half. Cut the apple in half. Cut the apple in half. Last card. We only need half an avocado. We only need half an avocado. We only need half an avocado. Okay, yeah, that was on your own. Let's check it off. You did it. Now it is quiz time, quiz, quiz, quiz time. So I'm going to shuffle the cards. And so we don't know the order, right? We're going to choose three cards. And I'm going to cover the sentence. And in the chat, you're going to write the sentence in the chat. Yeah. So let's mix up the cards so we don't know which one. So random, right? We're, we're choosing the cards randomly. We don't know. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, so let's take the first three cards, <clears throat> and that will be your quiz. Here we go. Card number one. Write the sentence in the chat. 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 Okay, what is the sentence, please? Do you remember? How's your memory? How is your memory? Do you remember the sentence? Do you remember the sentence? Sleepwalker's on the board. She says, what is half of 96? Fabricio says, what's half of 96? Helga says, what's half of 96? Marion says, what's half of 96? Manum, oh, we're going to do that after. Yeah, thank you, Manum. Mwah. Thank you. I always forget, don't I? I always forget the poll. We'll do it after the quiz. Okay, Mariano, half a dozen. Oh, no, no. Okay, Maria, how you doing? Maria's in the house. Mwah, Maria, welcome. The green team is strong. Thank you, Maria, for being here. What's half of 98? Ava, what's half of 98? Tomas, what's half of 96? Marley, what's half of 96? Yeah, Maria, 96, good. She changed her sentence. Uh, Candy says, what is half of 96? Maya, what is half of 96? Yeah, how you doing, Maria? Good to see you. Okay, let's check the answer, shall we? What's half of 96? Yes, good, good, good. Okay, here we go. Card number two. Write the answer in the chat. 
write the answer in, the, or write the, not the answer, write the sentence, write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember the sentence? Do you remember the sentence? Do you remember the sentence? Okay, there is Sleepwalker. She says, half a dozen eggs, please. Helga, half a dozen eggs, please. Marion, half a dozen eggs, please. Yeah, don't forget please. Please is the magic word. Yes, it is. Please is the magic word. Maria, half a dozen eggs, please. Tomas, a half a, a half of dozen, a little, a little off, Tomas, a little off. Okay, Mitra, half a dozen eggs, please. Mano me, half a dozen eggs, please. Elena, half a dozen eggs, please. Miley says, half a dozen eggs, please. Okay, Angel or um Angeli Angeli in Angel. I, I I'm not Angelica, that's it. Angelica says half a dozen eggs, please. Angelica, Angelica. Okay, yeah, Ava. Half half of no, not half of half a dozen. Okay, let's check the sentence. Half a dozen eggs, please. Half a dozen eggs, please. No problem, Tomas. That's that's where we're all here learning. Tomas, don't. That's good because actually that's good because you can just get going and not really think about it, right, Tomas? Because your English is good, and so maybe you do a lot of things and you don't think about it too much. But if you make those little, little simple mistakes, right? Like, you know, you, you, you just put words in different order, in the wrong order. You have all the correct words, but you put them in, a, put them in the wrong order. So I think that's good. That makes you like, kind of like have to think about it a little bit, right? So it's good for you to, to um, you know, think about your sentences, right? Okay, here we go. Last card, number three. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Yeah, Fabricio, good. It's, it's not really that big a big deal, you know. When you're speaking, we don't use commas, right? Just when you're writing. <laughs> yeah, so Tomas, so you have your own grammar, right, Tomas? Tomas's original grammar. <clears throat> okay, Sleepwalker is on the board. Roughly half of the class are boys. Okay. Ah, yeah, Ava. Oh, so Ava's on the bus right now. So actually, um, writing without glasses, and of course, I need glasses too, Ava. So I call that like blind texting. So a lot of times, like in the morning or something, I get an email, and I, I need to answer quickly, but I don't have my reading glasses. And, and so I, I'm kind of like, I can't really see so well. So I'll make a mistake, and so I'll say, oh, I'm blind texting. I'm blind texting. So I'm texting blind. Okay. Here we go. Marion says roughly half of the class are boys. Tomas says roughly of the class are boys. Maria, roughly half of the class are boys. Manome, roughly half of the class are boys. 
Miley says, roughly half of the class are boys. Mariano says, roughly half of the class are boys. Fabricio says, roughly half of the class are boys. Tomas says, roughly half of a class are boys. Let's, Samuel says, uh, roughly half of the class are boys. Okay, let's check it out, shall we? Roughly half of the class are boys. Okay, very good, everyone. <coughs> that was the quiz. Yes, it was. And let's mark it off because it is done. Yes. So we have one more activity. Yes. So we've done, we have done one form of sentence. We have done two what which questions. We have done three answer the question. We have done four that dictation cards. The topic was half. Now we have one more activity and that is of course Lolly's Revenge. Yes, yes. Lolly's Revenge. <clears throat> and it is right here, everyone. This is Lolly's Revenge. Before we do Lolly's Revenge, we are going to look at the poll because the poll is related to the conversation. Okay, so let's look at the poll. Okay, and this is related to. Joe and Sue's conversation. Okay, so here we go. Now, the, the poll, which is the blue box on the top of the chat. I Oh, 144 people voted. Thank you, everyone. Mwah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, so the, the sentence is, I mm, eat licorice. I mm, eat licorice. And so I, I want you to um, choose one of the um, adverbs and um, finish the sentence, right? So our choices are always, sometimes, seldom, never, okay? And these are adverbs of frequency, how often, right? Frequency, how often? And so um, our number one choice or number one most response, right? Most people voted, 41% of the people said, I never eat licorice. <laughs> I never eat licorice. Then, wow, so we have, this is very interesting, isn't it? Very interesting percentages here. So 41% um, is never. Then 31% is always. So we have like number one is never, and number two is always. And then in between is the same percentage. Sometimes in seldom, 14%. So it's very interesting. Wow. Very, very interesting. So number one is I never eat licorice. Number two, I always eat licorice. So it's, it's, it's very interesting, right? Like the, the difference. And then, um, then we each have 14%. I sometimes eat licorice. So, you know, like sometimes maybe you know, once a month or something like that. I don't know. And then um, seldom, like not much, right? I seldom eat licorice. Okay, very good, very good. Now, um, oh, Ava, I don't like li licorice, but I sell it. Okay, now, that's very interesting. Helga, I once tasted snail-shaped licorice, or German licorice candy. They say the Germans eat them with beer. I don't know, beer and licorice, that doesn't seem to go together. I like licorice. Unfortunately, here in Japan, there's not licorice. So when I go to America, I always um, eat licorice and I bring it back to Japan. Yeah, I, I don't know about licorice and beer. But Lolly says, ah. Okay, I'm gonna look, okay, there are some flavors. So. Let's look at some flavors here. So here we go. So we have, I have some, okay, I'm gonna show you. Okay, wait, wait, let's, okay, I'm gonna show you one 
flavor of licorice right here. You can see, and this is, does this sound yummy to you? The red raspberry licorice, how does that sound? That sounds delicious, yeah? Red raspberry, sounds very delicious. Do you think, do you, do you, does that sound, wait, this way, does, let me point. Does that sound delicious to you? Red raspberry. That sounds delicious to me. That sounds delicious. How about you? Red raspberry twist. Mmm, sounds good. I want some red raspberry licorice. Oh, Sleepwalker says, of course. Okay, we have red raspberry. Okay, let's bring that down. Let's make that smaller. Okay, here we go, our next flavor. Are you ready for the next flavor? Here we go. This is our next flavor, and this is going to be our next flavor is, ta-da! Here is our next flavor, and that is cherry. Mmm, I like cherry licorice. Hmm, cherry licorice, yum, yum. It looks very delicious, doesn't it? Hmm, cherry. Yeah, Mariano, thank you for that. <laughs> Genius, no, you're a genie, not me. <laughs> Congratulations, Mariano, thank you. Okay, cherry. Cherry licorice, mmm, sounds, sounds good, yes? Yes, it does. Mmm, cherry licorice, mmm. Okay, let's bring that down for our next flavor. We're going to have another flavor coming up. Hold on, take it down, bring it down. Okay, for our next flavor, let's bring it up. Here we go, and our next, come on, come on, come on, let's bring it up. And here is our next flavor, and our next flavor is, let's bring her up. And it is cinnamon flavor licorice, I don't know about that. Cinnamon flavor, what do you think? Cinnamon flavor licorice, I don't know about that. I've never had cinnamon flavor. Does that sound delicious to you? Licorice beer, no thank you. Okay, this is cinnamon licorice. I don't know about that. Ah, uh, Sleepwalker says, I like, Sleepwalker, Sleepwalker doesn't like cinnamon. I like cinnamon, but I don't know. Cinnamon licorice, maybe it'd be okay. I've never tried it before. Maybe it'd be okay. Okay, yeah, Attila. Those are the traditional flavors. Cinnamon is not traditional flavor, not at all. Okay, here we go for our next flavor. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Our next flavor is, oh, green apple. What do you think about this? Green apple licorice. What do you think? Green apple licorice. Green apple <laughs> Green apple licorice. Green apple licorice. What do you think? <laughs> okay. I, I think I, I, I think I would like that. It's pie sour. Yummy, yeah, Fabrizio. I, me too. I think, I think I would like that for sure. Yeah. Um. No, this way. <laughs> so I think I would like green apple licorice. I think I would like that. I've never had it before. I've never tried it, but I think I would like it. Okay. Here we go. Let's do our next one. Okay. Here's our next, our next flavor. Here it is, let's bring it up. 
And here we go. This is the classic. Yeah, this is for all you traditionalists. This is the red, the red. And I like red licorice. Yes, I do. So this is your one of the original. This is the classic red twist. Yeah. So this is a classic flavor. It is Sonara's in the house. Sonara. Mwah. Good to see Sonara. Yay, yay, yay. So this is your traditional licorice right here, the red. And I love it. I love it very, very much. It's one of my favorite candies for sure. I would have to say chocolate is number one and then maybe licorice should be like number two for me. Okay, here we go. One more. And what is that, do you think? You know what the last one is. You know, don't you? And our last one is the classic black, the original. That's right. Ava, this is what you sell in your shop, right? This is the original. This is the first licorice. It is black licorice. This is the original. So this, um, I like black too. It's not my favorite. My, my favorite number one is the red, and this is number two for me. But actually, I've never had, so the, these are the two originals, yeah. These are the two classics. I'll make these bigger. So we have, these are the originals. These are like, they've been around since I was a kid, forever. And, and then we have the, the new, new kinds, right? We have the, the, the green apple, that's a new one. And then we got, Cinnamon, I've never had that, that's new. And then we got, let's see, which one's it? Cherry, that, that's been around. So this is my, I've had cherry before, I like cherry. But it's like number three for me, I guess. I'm surrounded by licorice everywhere, licorice everywhere. And, <laughs> and I've never had cinnamon, never, never, never. And then we have, Cinnamon here, which I have never tried. See, here I am right there. I am, there's licorice everywhere. Licorice everywhere. <laughs> okay, everyone. So we're going to now, yep, black is the original. So bye-bye cherry. Bye-bye green apple. Bye-bye cinnamon. Bye-bye raspberry. Bye bye classic red. Bye bye the original black. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I want licorice. I want licorice. Okay, good, good. <laughs> I have goodies. Happy Halloween. I have goodies. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Yeah, okay, here we go. Lolly's Revenge. Yes, yes, yes. Lolly's Revenge. And we know what Lolly's Revenge is. Yes, we do. It's a conversation between Joe and Sue. Joe and Sue. Say hello to Joe. Hello, Joe. Say hello to Sue. Hello, Sue. Okay, here we go. Oh, let's... Ah. Don't have much space on the whiteboard, but we gotta write it. Okay, so here we go. Lolly's Revenge. Okay, Lolly's Revenge. Step one is the conversation. Step two, Q and A, questions and answers. Step three, reading. And step four is shadowing. Okay, so conversation, Q&A, read and shadow. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> K 
count down to the conversation. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. This is Joe. Joe is first. Sue, please get me a half box of licorice. Licorice? Half a box? What are you talking about? I feel like licorice. Why half a box? Because I don't want a whole box. I don't think they sell half boxes. Then you have the other half. I don't eat licorice. Okay, just get a box. What flavor do you want? Okay, what flavor do you want? Oh, okay, Ava, bye-bye, have a good day, Mwah. Okay, Ava, have a good day, and I hope you sell lots of licorice. Ava, have some licorice for me, because I miss licorice, I love licorice, but in Japan, there's no licorice, I miss it. So, Ava, have some licorice for me. Helga? You know about Joe, don't you, Helga? Helga knows all about Joe. Okay, let's do it again. Here we go. This is Joe. Sue, please get me a half box of licorice. Licorice? Half a box? What are you talking about? I feel like licorice. Why half a box? Because I don't want a whole box. I don't think they sell half boxes. Then you have the other half. I don't eat licorice. Okay, just get a box. What flavor do you want? What do you want to do? One more time. Are you ready for the questions and answers? Okay, Lolly says, last time, more slowly, more slowly, please. Okay, we got it. Last time, more slowly, more slowly. Joe is cunning. He is a cunning person. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, Sleepwalker, you got it. Here we go. Last time. More slowly. Here we go. Joe is first. Sue, please get me a half box of licorice. Licorice? Half a box? What are you talking about? I feel like licorice. Why half a box? Because I don't want a whole box. I don't think they sell half boxes. Then you have the other half. I don't eat licorice. Okay, just get a box. What flavor do you want? Okay, that was the conversation. Let's check it off because we did it. Oh, this is number five. Okay, so we checked off the conversation because we did it. Now it's time for questions, yeah? So I have four questions for you. Four questions for you. Here we go. Question number one. What does Joe want? What does Joe want? What does Joe want? Question number one. What does Joe want? Kori, thank you so much. You're always very kind to me, Kori. Kori, thank you so much. And you're always watching my videos, always saying thank you. Thank you, Kori. You got it, Mariano, a half, a half of a box. 
Sleepwalker, he wants a half box of licorice. Lolly, Joe wants a half of a box of licorice. Fabricio, a half of licorice box. Okay, half a box of licorice. Good batter. Tilla, he wants, Joe wants a half box of licorice. Good. Helga, Joe wants Sue to get him a half box of licorice. Tomas says he wants half a box of licorice. Miley, Joe wants licorice, but only half a box. Nice, nice, Miley. Manu May, Joe wants half a box of licorice. Okay, Elena, Joe wants half a box of licorice. Nice. Mary, Marion, Joe wants a half box of licorice. Okay, very good, everyone. Well done. Ella, he wants a half box of licorice. Perfect. Alice, Joe wants a half box of licorice. Perfect. Mary says, Joe wants a half box of licorice. Good, good. Fonda, yes. Okay, everyone. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Question number two. Here we go. Number two. Why does Joe want a half box of licorice? Why does Sonara half box of licorice? Okay, question number two. Why does Joe want a half box of licorice? Why does Joe want a half box of licorice? Why does Joe want a half box of licorice? Oh, there you are, Seiru. Mwah. Good to see you, Seiru. Even though you are super late, Seiru is super late, but it's good to always see you, Seiru. Okay, Sleepwalker, not exactly. Helga, he doesn't want a whole box. Good, good, Helga. Tomas says a half box, a half box, and half box means the same. A half box and half a box. A half box. Yeah, yes, Tomas. Okay, good point. Okay, Tomas said, Tomas's question is a half box, a half, or half a box. <laughs> this is kind of a tongue twister, right? A half box. Half a box. Same, same. Yes, Tomas. Same, same, same. Okay. So Lolly says he feels like licorice. Okay. Mary says Joe doesn't want too much. Good, Mary. Mano May says he likes licorice. Good. Fabricio says um, because he doesn't want a whole box. Good, Fabricio. Um, Batter says because he feels like li licorice. Okay, good. Tilla, he wants... A half box of licorice because he doesn't want a whole box, right, Tilla? Okay, Ilana, because he does not want a whole box. Very good, yes. Okay, yeah, Marin, he feels like licorice. That's okay. Sleepwalker, Joe doesn't want the whole box. Yeah, good, good, good. Miley, because he feels like licorice. Okay, that works, yes. Uh, Mariano, uh, because he doesn't want a whole box of licorice. Good, good, good. Maya says, Joe feels like only half a box of licorice, but he thinks, but he thinks he doesn't want to have a whole box. Wait, wait, Maya. Joe feels like only half a box of licorice, but he thinks he doesn't want to have a whole box. Okay, that works, yep. Okay, good. Every yeah, that's good. Candy says, because he doesn't want a whole box. A whole box. Sonara, because I don't want a whole box. Good. He doesn't want a whole box. Um, Samuel, because he doesn't want to have a whole box of licorice. Good, good, good. Okay, here we go. Number three. Hey, Rossi's here. Rossi, Rossi. Okay, number three. Question number three. What does... Joe suggests to Sue. Number three. What does Joe suggest to Sue? What does Joe suggest to Sue? 
Okay, Fabricio, because... Okay, because a whole box isn't good for his health. Okay, Fabricio, don't need eat. Ah, uh, okay, you can... It's better to say, Fabricio, because a whole box. So get rid of eat. Don't, don't use eat and you have a good sentence. Because a whole box isn't good for his health. Good answer, Fabricio. Okay, Maya says, in a nutshell, a whole box is too much for him. In a nutshell. So in conclusion, right? In a nutshell. Good, good, good. Okay, here we go. Number three. What does Joe suggest to Sue Sleepwalkers? Uh, Sue can have the other one, or we could say the other half Sleepwalker. Lolly says uh, he suggests having the other half. So he's, okay, Lolly, he suggests Sue having the other half. Yeah. Good, Fabricio, because a whole box isn't good for his health. Okay, Tomas says, he suggested Sue to buy a whole box. Okay, yeah, but um, before that, Tomas, what did, what did Joe suggest before that? What was his first suggestion, Tomas? What was his first suggestion? Yeah, good job, Fabricio. Mm. Miley. Joe suggests Sue can eat the other half. Oh, Mariano, he um Argentina. Nice. Right next to Brazil. Maya says Joe suggests Sue should have the other half of a box. Or the box, right? So Maya, so um, we're talking about a specific thing, right? So we're talking about Joe doesn't want a whole box, right? So he suggests Sue to have the other half of the box, right? So go, go to the store, get me a box of licorice or get me a half a box. I can't, I don't want a whole box. And Sue says, they don't sell half boxes. And so Joe says, okay, you have the other half. So we're talking about, a, you know, the box, right? So a box of, a box of, okay, a box of licorice, right? A box of licorice. But now we're talking more specifically. So, so you have the other half, right? You, let's get the box. I'll eat half and you have the other half of the box. Okay, Marion, uh, Sue can have the other one because the sh sell half, because they don't sell half boxes, right? So Marion, so Sue can have the other half because they don't sell half boxes. Okay, Marion, um, Sue can have the other half because they don't sell half boxes. Tomas, uh, first he suggested Sue buy only half a box. Yeah. Candy, because he doesn't want a whole box. Good, good. Samuel, Joe suggested to Sue to have a half box of licorice. Good, good, good. Well, the other half, right? Have the other half. Fabrizio, he suggests that each take half of the box. Yep. Okay, good, Maya. Okay, here we go. Number four, number four. Question number four. What flavor do you think Joe wants? Okay, now, we don't know in the conversation. It doesn't say in the conversation. This is your idea. This is your idea, okay? This is, um, you're, you're free to answer. You have freedom to answer whatever you want, there is no wrong answer, okay? Here we go, question number four. 
What flavor do you think Joe wants? What flavor do you think Joe wants? What flavor do you think Joe wants? Okay, Mariano, Joe suggests to Sue that she sell him half of the licorice box. I don't think she's going to sell, she's going to buy the licorice. So Mariano, she's not, so, so Joe suggests to, Joe suggests to Sue that she sell him half of the licorice box. No, the store. The store. He wants the store to sell him half a box. Okay, so question number four. What flavor do you think Joe wants? Sleepwalker says green apple, I think. Okay, good. Okay, Helga says, I think he wants the original licorice flavor. Lolly says, I think um, he wants apple licorice. Fabricio, Joe is hungry and he wants all of the flavors. Give me all the flavors. Yeah, good scenario. Yeah, they don't sell half boxes. No, they don't. Okay, um, Korosh says green apple. Wow, lots of green apples. Fabricio, I think he wants the green apple. Wow, what's happening? Miley says, I think Joe wants apple. Fonda says, I think he wants black licorice. Manome, I think green apple flavor is good for health. <laughs> Better, I think black, the original. Maria says cinnamon. Okay, Mariana. Helga, the original black, yeah. Elena says Joe wants cherry. Tomas, I think he wants cinnamon. Sleepwalker, green apple. Sax, how you doing, Sax? Cherry. Mary says green apple. So lots of green apples here. Elena, oh, Elena says the assorted box. So maybe they sell assorted flavors. So in one box, there's assorted different flavors in one box. Lolly says cinnamon licorice. I gotta try cinnamon one day. Orange flavor. Wow, I didn't, okay, orange flavor. He wants orange flavor licorice. Fabrizio, he wants green apple and he'll buy cinnamon for Sue. Oh, nice. Fabrizio says, Joe wants apple and, he'll, and um, he's going to buy cinnamon flavor for Sue. Okay, Tilly says, I think he wants various flavors. He wants the assorted flavors. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. That's good. All right, so that was question. Let's read the conversation, shall we? Let's read it together, okay? Here we go. Let's read the conversation together. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the conversation up to the camera so we can read it together. Here we go. Joe's first. Sue, please get me a half box of licorice. Licorice? Half a box? What are you talking about? I feel like licorice. Why half a box? Because I don't want a whole box. I don't think they sell half boxes. Then you have the other half. I don't eat licorice. Okay, just get a box. What flavor do you want? Okay, let's do it again. Sue, please get me a half box of licorice. Licorice? Half a box? What are you talking about? I feel like licorice. Why half a box? Because I don't want a whole box. I don't think they sell half boxes. Then you have the other half. I don't eat licorice. Okay. Just get a box. What flavor do you want? Oh, all the flavors. 
He wants all the flavors. <laughs> Me too. I want all the flavors. Okay. Good, good. That was reading. Let's check it off. Okay. Now it's shadow time. Shadow speaking time. Okay. Here we go. Let's say the conversation together. You and I together. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Sue, please get me a half box of licorice. Please get me a half box of licorice. Please get me a half box of licorice. Licorice? Half a box? What are you talking about? Licorice? Half a box? What are you talking about? Licorice? Half a box? What are you talking about? I feel like licorice. I feel like licorice. I feel like licorice. Why half a box? Why half a box? Why half a box? Because I don't want a whole box. Because I don't want a whole box. Because I don't want a whole box. I don't think they sell half boxes. I don't think they sell half boxes. I don't think they sell half boxes. Then you have the other half. 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 I don't eat licorice. I don't eat licorice. I don't eat licorice. Okay, just get a box. Okay, just get a box. Okay, just get a box. What flavor do you want? What flavor do you want? What flavor do you want? Okay, let's look at it again. <laughs> Joe looks like a child. Any flavor? Yes, yeah, Sonara. Good, Sax. Good, good, good. Okay, let's look at it one more time. Sue, please get me a half box of licorice. Licorice? Half a box? What are you talking about? I feel like licorice. Why half a box? Because I don't want a whole box. I don't think they sell half boxes. Then you have the other half. I don't eat licorice. Okay, just get a box. What flavor do you want? What flavor do you want? Thanks, Tilla. See ya. Mwah. Thank you. Okay, that was the conversation. We shadowed. Let's check it off. Okay, wow, everybody. You did it. We did it together. Yeah, we did. One, two, three, four, five activities. Yay, we did it. We did it. Well, the whiteboard is full, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard and put it on my Facebook group page so you can check it out anytime you want to. My, my phone's just right over here. Let me get it. I got it now. Here we go. I'm going to open the camera. There, the camera's open. Now I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. You can't see me, but you can hear me. Here we go. Countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. And yeah, you did it, Fabricio. You did it for sure. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a member. Thank you so much. I love you guys. The green team, you're number one. And today, the green team was very strong. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone for being here. Like I say, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So um, I, I, um, I appreciate everyone, your kind, kind support. I really do. Mwah. 
you guys are number one. <laughs> You're welcome, Sleepwalker. All right, well, today is Tuesday, November 2nd. I will be back November 5th, yes, Friday at 10 a.m. Japan time. I live in Japan, so when I say 10 a.m. on Friday, November 5th, that is Japan time, okay? So you know that. Um, I see you here every week, so you know the time. So thank you so much, everyone. And um, Mary, take care. Yeah, so Mary, I hope you get well very soon. Take care of yourself. Mwah. Okay, so I hope to see you back very soon, Mary. Okay, take care. Thank you, Samuel. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, you too, Fonda. Have a good week. Uh, Jean Carlos, thank you. Jean is in the house from Brazil. Many Brazilians here. So I want to thank Brazil. Mwah. Thank you. Okay, and the green team, you guys are number one. And um, I always forget everyone's names, but I'm looking at the chat now. I want to say thank you, Fabricio. I want to say Mariano, thank you. I want to say Miley, thank you. I want to say Maya, thank you. I want to say Marion, thank you. I want to say Sleepwalker, thank you. I want to say Tomas, thank you. I want to say Mariano, thank you. Candy, I want to say thank you. Yes, I'm looking at the chat and of course, um, some people were here earlier, but they're not here right now. So I'm, I'm going back. Jocko, I want to say thank you. Yep. Okay. Lolly, of course. I want to say thank you to Lolly. Mwah. Yeah. Sewu, I want to say thank you to Sewu. Mwah. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Well, um, let's say goodbye together, shall we? Let's say goodbye together. Miley, I want to say thank you, Miley. Mwah. Okay, let's count down and say goodbye together, shall we? Here we go. Let's count down. Let me, I got to adjust my screen here for a minute. Okay, here we go. We're going to count down until Friday. We'll be back on Friday. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thank you everyone, and you're the best. Mwah. You guys are number one, and I will see you on Friday. Okay, so um, take care of yourself, um, stay well, smile, and um, good things will happen. Yes? Okay, bye everyone. Thank you so much. Bye.